There we'll be breeding the ferret. Hold that bite. Just to show you, I've got one ready to breed and one not. This one, as you can see, chuffy now! That is ready to breed. That's what happens when they come in season. The bits will swell up. This this one, it's not so ready. As you can see, it's not a, so don't put this in with ferrets yet. Uh, the males. This one's ready to line. As you can see by its dash. But um yeah. Leave it that long, don't put it in when they're that small because it'll just mess about. I always separate the males and the females this time of year because even if your males get along half a year, as soon as the females come in season, they'll be fighting. Right. So we've got the hob in the top. Usually they're all together all year, but as I said earlier, we're going to separate them. It will look a bit rough at first because the male does grab the female and drag her about a bit, but that's what they do. So we'll just leave them in there. I usually leave them in for about two days, but if the back of the neck gets sore on the gel, I take it out before that. So as long as they've had a good tie. If you don't breed your gels, you don't have to. I've got a few people wanting kits this year, so that's why I'm breeding them. <coughs> but if you don't want to breed them and you have a gel, it will come in season and you need to get out of season. Because if you don't, the estrogen in that you can get high estrogen in the blood and it can cause pro progressive depression of bone marrow and that's how, that'll lead to life-threatening aplastic anemia so that's what you can do but there's another way you can get a, va a vanax vanaximized hob well, in other words a, knob, a hob that's had the snip and then once it's lined the gill the gill will be tricked into thinking that it's been lined but obviously there's no no <laughs> yeah, there's not that it's not gonna have babies anyway. But before then, then if you catch it before it's chuff swelled right up, you can take it to the vets and there's a thing called a jill jab. I think it's about 15 quid. So, but you have to take it before its bits swell up. Like I say, leave these together for two days if he's not too rough, and then that should be that. And well, you don't want to keep well. I'm gonna. That's it.